trial of a former Spring Hill College soccer player takes a dramatic turn today as a second student comes forward and says she too was assaulted by Basil Kakali. Also testifying today, a nurse who examined the alleged victim. WKRG News 5's Megan Mackey reports from outside the courtroom with more on what that rape kit revealed. Yeah, one of the most compelling testimonies today was when a nurse at USA Hospital testified she believes the victim in this case, Audrey Cox, was raped. She says the rape kit showed there was not any super noticeable injuries, but says there was abnormal bruising that indicated she was likely sexually assaulted. It's important to know the blood test or drug test was not conducted as a part of this kit, so there's no way of knowing if she was drugged or had taken any sort of illegal substances on the night in question. The nurse also testified that she is not impartial and, and they are trained to be empathetic and believe victims. Another person who took the stand today was a witness who testified that she went out with Audrey the night she was allegedly raped and says that she too was previously sexually assaulted by the defendant. Now we are not identifying this witness by name or showing her face because she says she is a victim, but she knew both parties in this case because she played on the women's soccer team at Spring Hill College. In terms of this witness, a rape kit was never done and she chose not to press charges against Vasil Kakali. During cross-examination, the defense questioned her credibility and tried to undermine her testimony by questioning why she only came forward about this alleged sexual assault after Audrey did. On Tuesday, a forensic scientist is expected to testify and then the defense will start calling their witnesses to the stand. Reporting at Government Plaza, Megan Mackey, WKRG News 5.